My brother. What's going on? What's my going brother. on? Switch, 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 switch. My brother. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah, man, finally. Tell the people who you are real quick, man. Man, AB fad, man. Young man from Sierra Leone, you know, making his mark in this music industry as well as uh, with the video edits and tell representing us, Sierra Leone. Yeah. Tell us about the video edits, man. Uh, they're, they're beautiful, man. We you know we do the best visuals, you know what I'm saying? My, in my opinion, we, we do creative content, you know what I'm saying? We try to be very different with our, like, you know, with my style of editing and just creating content too, man. I, I'm tired of seeing Lamborghinis and half-naked girls everywhere, man, and AK-47. Like, I'm, I like to create abstract stuff, you know? Tired of the same shit. Yeah, you should let me shoot some stuff from you for some of the, one of these times, man, one of these days. You know what? Um, I got a song called uh, Birthday Vibe. I uh-huh. did it a few years ago. Uh-huh. Birthday Vibe. Could you shoot something to that? I mean, we for the right price, we can make it, make it pop. Hey, you my brother, you know. Hey, yeah, you know, yeah, African you know, that's, 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 that's that brother, you know, brother, that stuff that we'll be, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, cause you, 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 know, you know exactly how to finesse this stuff, man, so I trust, I, I don't know if I'm in safe hands, you know, so you might finesse me out a couple videos, you know. Man, um, I got you, man, you're in safe hands, man, but I need yeah. a visual for that, because that record, like, with, with a video, like, people don't see me enough. Like, a lot of people are always coming to me telling me yeah. they want to see me, like, do more, and they want to see me. I've been dormant too long. I've been incognito. People um, people even told me to do this, like, um, for years. Like, you need to get in front of the camera, do YouTube. Do yeah, podcasts, yeah, you've always been nice with equipment and camera, man, for as long as I've known you, man. So, you know, I'm glad to be on your, on your, on your, sh- your show. This is, like, you know the first mean? official show. Yeah, for this sure. Like, this is like the first yeah, official. Yeah, for sure. This is the first one, man. This is the first official show, man. And with your first name show. AB. Don't mind my Adidas. Adidas hat, you know. It's a, it's a low-key evening today. Hey. You know, I just said, let Straight me up. just, Chill you know, you hit me up. I said, shit, let's make it happen. You know? What we talking about today? What you got on the table? I know you All got right. some shit lined up. All right, let me just, let me ask you this, right? Let's say right now, because this, this is for a lot of people right here, right now. You only have money to pay one bill. What's the most important bill to pay? Uh, it's got to be the lights. Why the lights? I actually, money to pay the bill. One bill. One bill. Is, is we every, including, is we including every, rent. Rent, lights. All right, you got to pay the rent. If you the got rent? money to pay, huh? If you got, if you got money. Everything just, else is getting cut off. One bill. Okay, so it's not rent. It's a it, it, rent. No, rent. rent is a bill. Right, it's considered a bill. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh-huh. Yeah, but so I, I'll okay. pay rent. i pay rent. You pay rent? Yeah. You know what I'm going to pay? Phone. 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 Why? Because I got, a, I, got, I got a very nice debate for that. Because with the phone, you can make money. Okay. Like, it's like... I just feel like you need that to make money. Okay. Like you, you gotta. Everything today is with the phone. You need a place to lay your head too, so you can be able to That's like. A fact though, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I feel like with the phone, we live in the United States, especially for us that live in the states or overseas or countries that have developed like there's Wi-Fi everywhere. So even if you have a phone. Fuck. Bro. Yeah, I hit yeah. you. I told you, got you. Me. the setup, man. You got me. Come on, man. You got me. Wi-Fi. You got me. Connect me to Xfinity you, Wi-Fi, you got me. so I can Facetime me. you real fuck, quick. Fuck. I, I, I message I, you real quick. Download I, an app that I can use to text I, you free. I, you was the real. <laughs> that's a fact. That's a yeah. fact. That's a Stop fact. Yeah. Stop playing. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Yeah. So, you lost yeah. that one. I did. This is gonna be a nice night because so, you know what I'm saying. So it's, it's yeah, rent. It's gotta be rent. Rent because of Wi-Fi. Gotta be rent because of Wi-Fi. McDonald's got Wi-Fi. Panera got Wi Fi. You feel me? Bro, the fucking car shop I went to today had Wi Fi. Free Wi Fi. You tripping? It was a homeless nigga in there. You tripping? Young homeless nigga. Like, 29. you tripping? Yeah, you right. Damn. Okay, so who's gonna replace Kevin Samuels, man? I know, you know, RIP Kevin Samuels, he's been dead for since last year, maybe six months ago now, but like. And, and and don't put this on here because I don't really know who that you is. You don't know who that is. No. Kevin Samuels, he died from the guy who from the guy Atlanta with the what glasses, it? the fifty-some-year-old. Oh, the guy who always spoke about women. So, so uh, Kevin Samuel, man, um, I heard about the brother. I I watched a couple of his episode. Um, smart guy, man. May so rest in peace. Um, who's gonna replace him? I don't know. I don't know who's who's ready to get that line of fire from women. 
Because, you know, his position, he was in a hot seat. Like, you know, women didn't like I, I heard a lot of ladies didn't like him. Yeah, but now they're starting to like him. Like, his videos are still uh, going. Okay, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I mean, he had some facts in a lot of things he was yeah. saying, too. You know, we do we do live in an age where you know, sometimes, you know, it's, there's a lot expected from a man. And you know, I felt like he came in there to, like, at least help the brothers yeah. who really, you know, who really trying to, like, you know, really meet a nice young lady yeah. and really court you and really build a future. You know what I'm saying? I think he was really just trying to direct brothers how to choose. Yeah. You feel me? And I feel like the women can do it, too. Yeah. Uh, you know, somebody can come up with a way how to, like, you know, point out fuckboys. You feel me? So Shit, it's a girl. It's a girl named uh, Melly Monaco. Um, okay. Yeah, she's got a lot to say, man. She said some shit the other day, like so. She like she's lit, bro. Like oh, she's okay. like got a, a big following and okay. on her YouTube or whatever. And like, um, I, I I don't I don't think I'm even subscribed to her, but like, I I've seen maybe ten of her videos. Okay. And then she was on the homie uh, Rich and Unemployed uh, podcast recently. But, okay. Uh, Man, I got a homie who said he believe. Man, shout out to my boy Vic, man. Shout out to J City, man. Shout out to J City, Vic. Shout out to you. So my boy, so uh, he believe in going half and half with a woman on everything. Okay. Right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Everything because he feel like women fought for rights to work, right? Mm-hmm. So he feel like if you making money and I'm making money, everything fifty fifty. The chick, Melly Monaco, right? She actually, I heard her on a podcast say, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken, she said she down to go half and half. They, 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 I don't know what's wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying nothing wrong with that. I'm just like, I want to know what you think. I mean, I, 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 I don't see. If, if that's how the two people that are coming together to make things work want to, if, you, if it's fair, if you ask. If you ask me in all actuality, it's actually, if you look at it from a fair standpoint of view, you know, because you have women also that come into men's life, you know, for what they have or whatever it is, and, you know, mm-hmm. you drop something right there. Oh, shit. But, um, yeah, whole but if, if, um, uh-huh. if, if, if we're both invested in it, I think we would really see a lot of more successful relationships also, I think. I think sometimes it's one party knowing that I'm not bringing nothing to the table. I can just pack up and leave any day, any time. And I can leave with some more shit that I didn't even come in with. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like it's something, you know, 50-50. So, you know, you not, you know, you don't go looking at the relationship when it's not, when it doesn't work out and be like, damn, I invested everything I have. Mm-hmm. No, you invested half of what you had. So you believe 50-50? I mean, I, I, it I think on it's fair. It just depends on how the two couples want to. Yeah. You know, go about it. No, but it's not a bad idea to go 50-50. You know, some men don't want their women to work either. You know, so, you know, I mean, then depending on what city you live in, you live in a city like Atlanta, where you have a lot of people, both men and women, taking advantage of each other, it would make sense to go 50-50. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. So I really do. You really Shout out to everybody that's trying to go 50-50 in 2023. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me know how it works out. Um so you know, I, I I had another question I wanted to kind because of, I know I, I yeah. know you got some questions lined up for me, but you know it's an open discussion. I want to ask you because you know I'm not gonna speak on it because yeah. you know for me it's like I'm an artist, so I also try to respect my community. You know what I'm saying, and also just you know we know what it is from the inside. You know we know sure. we know what it is. We the artists that deal with other people, other recording artists from different you know mm-hmm. labels or. You know, from different side of the, the genres, like you know, hip hop to Afro beats. Um, what's your take on, you know, the U.S. industry, music industry pushing the rap culture? Like it's like all you hear now. You know, it's all you hear, the rap with the rap music. And then how do you want to relate that to the crimes and things happening, people losing their lives? Do you think it's something that you know? Because for me, it's like it's a it's a genre that. No matter where you go, everybody is, you turn into, like, you hear rap music, you know? It's and too it's much. Like, it's too much. Like, okay, what um, do you mean by it's too much? Like, I don't know like, if I, I so, asked the question right, if you understood what I was asking. Like, what do you feel about, you know, record labels? Do you feel like it's, they know deliberately, they know what they're doing, and they're doing it deliberately to fuel the rap culture by investing so much money in our, in our rap artists and making them, you know, understand that, hey, there's this limited amount of money, use it 
you know, and blow up. You know, do you think it's the industry's fault that we getting all these killings going mm. on, or do you think it's the rapper's fault? Or you think the industry is kind of behind it? I'm just trying to get your opinion. It's just a little idea that a couple people have asked me. And, I've, of course, I have my own opinions about it. But, you know, this is for you. This is not a question you're going to ask me because I know what I feel about it. So you ask me what you feel. So I feel like... You tell me what you feel, I mean. I feel like with all the violence that continuously is happening, mm-hmm. um, rappers... Okay, if you're signed to a label, if you if 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 you're signed to a, a major label or any label that has backing, right? Mm-hmm. It is the backer's fault. So if you sign to Warner or whoever like uh Lior or you know, Universal, any of these people that have that power, mm-hmm. right? And they're pushing, pushing, pushing that sound, you know, that message it is their fault because they're putting the money behind it and they see they see what's going on but at the same time they don't work with i don't believe they work with the fbi or the police or nothing like that because okay. it's fucking their money up right? yeah of course it's like, like when, you, when a rapper gets locked up somebody. it's like yeah yeah they, they're not gonna put money behind young thug to then see young thug get locked up because now they're losing money but then again, maybe they maybe they not. Maybe it's a maybe it's a uh, what is it, a conspiracy theory because with Young Thug being in jail, for example, right? He's still making money, but he can't touch his money. I don't think because the label's still making money. Okay, I mean, yeah, you know, know but it's still he's, he's still making money. He's still making money. He just can't touch but it. But he's ain't. sharing it. He can't really. Yeah, and, do but and, it and his family like members, if if it, I'm, I'm sure there's a way they benefit it. They, they, sure, they, yeah. If it if worse comes to worse, he can he can, guess, take, care he can take there and say, hey, yeah. this account has to have some money in it. You know, what I'm saying because of the For streams, sure. like, he got a lot. Of he got endorsements and yeah. you know deals and stuff like that. So yeah, For sure. So I don't, man. It's it's weird, man. Like. I, I I don't really know how to explain it because I just want to hear more music. Like when it comes mm. to like the violence and everything, mm. it's excessive more than anything for me. Like it's it's too much. Like I don't like going to the club. I don't like hopping in the car listening to the radio. I don't like being around crowds and people where it's only trap music. Mm. I don't want to hear that. How do you? Shit, how does man. it make you feel when you're in a club and they they talk about? We gonna slide a block. We are gonna spray it down. So it's, it's <laughs> like you, like, I, when okay, you, you, so you mean like, like when you hear constantly in the club? I like the I like, like thirty it. minutes straight. They play trap music for you in the club. How how you feeling? If it's like the like the only the people that I really like respect. What do you mean respect? Or the people that you trust? Is that what you mean? Like Pop Smoke, he got my respect. But for, 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 forget the fact that like you know somebody dies and then people are like. They just jump on him. Mm-hmm. No, I was really like, damn, who is this dude when he was still alive? You know, I wasn't like, oh, yeah, he died. So, what, 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 his music, what about his music you relating to the I fact? Feel like, I feel he's authentic. Like, like Pop Smoke is authentic. Um, Dolph is authentic. Like, so, it's always I, them I, dudes that I really, really like. Like, like, like that I really feel like it's That they real, don't put money on? And then they die. Like, okay. Dolph and Pop Smoke. Hell yeah. Like, I can listen to them 30 minutes straight in the club. But I think the thing that was trying to, like, my question was that even Pop Smoke, his music, you know, had, it didn't have gangs, stuff. It was really super violent, yeah. Yeah, so, so. But, I, but it, it's like, I felt like he was. So, but, but I think what I'm trying to say is that this should, just because you like him and you think it's authentic, does that still make it? Whose fault is it still? It's still his fault, the label's fault, the people who put it together, yeah. It's it pop pop because but that's how pop. So his death he is died, it, he died it, because of the in label. His environment, yeah. He not because of the. You, you know he was already pushing what he was doing, and then the, the label gets behind him, and then they push it even more to a higher level, and yeah, it 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 makes people. 
So it's not his music. Yeah, the rap music it's definitely more of brings that. violence. Yeah, okay. rap music brings violence for sure. Yeah, like because you feel like if you people... don't think it, it, not you, but if people in general don't think rap music, that type of music brings violence, it's you fucking to to idiot. it brings yeah. harm your way. Who's rapping it? Yeah, you ain't because idiot. you feel like, yeah, I feel like I feel like because to an extent you, that you're you, telling people if you dare rub my chain, you are gonna die. You know, stuff like that. So, I guess you could say in a way that, you know, you, you, you're you making people want to challenge what you're saying. Yeah. If that's what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's yeah. real. So. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. So, how you feel about Thug? Um, what you think will happen I'm to him? I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of him. I'm a, I'm a real big fan. You, you keeping up with the case? Um, here, and, here and there. Like, you know, I go on Instagram, certain pages, you know, that have updates on them. Like, even today, I checked up some updates regarding him nothing yet but i do know that so far it's seven people that have testified not not testified but have made a plea bargain and are willing to testify yeah so yeah i think like seven to eight people yeah so i know it's it's not looking too nice for my brother you you consider a plea a um do you consider a plea a uh like snitching uh you know i i should not be the one to judge because just because I don't cons. Now, you see, especially when you don't know the way the the law. I know the I know the way the law works when it comes to like recos and trying to group all these organized crimes. You know, see, because that's what's going on here. They're trying to make it like you organize a whole crime unit to do such and such. You know what I'm saying? So, um, snitching, man, it's gonna be a tough one, man. I'd have to wait. I, I don't, because cause this is probably the first case that I followed, followed mm-hmm. to actually even see the outcome to even know. Normally out here, rapper got, you know, that da, da, da Like, for example, what's this guy from New York? Um, um, big guy. Um, g- 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 uh, I forgot his name. God damn, he's from New York. He's locked up. On Rico Charlie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's his name? Yeah. Uh, he just started kind of getting a no- some noise yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He was beefing with 6 9 a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think. You know who I'm talking about? I know he did who a song with David Dark skin rapper. Yeah, he, um, he, um, he, I feel like, you know, he was, he was one of the people, too, that I feel like, you know, he, he could have, he could have came out of, that situation without you know going through a lot of that like that that's crazy well you with know. thug with thug you think you with think, with because because even think, that rapper's think, case uh i didn't he, follow it you think thug is like you think he going away you think he because he on trial right now i think trial started today yep so you think like you think wayne gonna testify you know wayne is a little wayne a witness little wayne yeah what he's a witness that's what it said. That's what it was to going. what to the to the trial. He he's he's able to he's able to testify. You can look it up. He's able to testify. He's able to testify. Something like that. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's it's real. Casanova. That's Casanova. His name. Yeah. Casanova, Casanova. That's his name. Casanova. No, even Casanova's case. I never followed Casanova's case till now. I don't even know what. The, I know it's a RICO charge, but I don't know what. I'm, what's that? Uh, Lil Wayne. Okay. Read it all out. Killer. Okay. Take a. Two thug try. Take a. Oh yeah. No, so no. Lil. Oh Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne could be called to testify in Young Thug trial. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah. What you think needs to happen? In like okay. You mentioned rap earlier, right? Mm-hmm. The trapping and the violence. It's a and, cool piece, by the way. And appreciate it. And, yeah. and you was talking about you know. You know, rap just dominates. I want to hear mm-hmm. Afrobeat and I'm a piano take over. Like it's happening. Real, it's already happening. Takeover. It's happening. It's just a matter of time. Like, it's happening. I mean, I think Afrobeat, I'm a piano, it's here to stay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like there's crazier artists that are coming out more. You and think we, it's going to take over, though? Oh, yeah. It's, it's already taking over. Like, there's no place you go around in Atlanta where they're American or African club where they don't play Afrobeats, you know? Mm-hmm. Even in. I went to Lennox, they were playing Afrobeats in one of these high, these, these high-end stores, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they are playing it. They're playing it. So, I just think, as for, like, artists that are coming up in Atlanta, that are trying to, you know, become their own superstars, like, 
you know, it's it's just respecting your your brand in Atlanta, mm-hmm. because Atlanta is a party city. Mm-hmm. So as an artist, like you t- you need to understand that you're a brand, you know. So what I'd like to see, and I would like to see that happen across the board, even in other states, is that you know, you as an artist coming up in your own city, especially if you fire, you got talent, you know what I'm saying. I think you should protect your brand. I think that will come with more respect. People will honor your presence a little bit more. And you can actually be surprised, if you, and especially if you tap into your influencer mode. As an artist, you, yeah, you sing, you make songs, but also get people to, who, who can move with you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you have a crowd behind you, have a, if you have an event and you got like at least 15 people that can show up, pull up with you, at one time y'all get into that club and make that presence known, that's a plus for me because, you know, a lot of people are like, a lot of these clubs also want you to bring in people. You know, mm-hmm. they want to see a following. Yeah, your music is fire, but who listens to you? You right. know what I'm saying? Who listens to you in real life where we can see them come support you? I feel like if artists can, and I think the only way to get there is for you to like really protect your brand, brand yourself to the point where by when you go out, you go out with that kind of image. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like how people look at you. That's, 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 how, that's, that's my wish. I want to see, um, I want to see it like just, I just want to see it dominate. I want to see it take off, take over. Um, yeah, I want to see like a crazy like platform. Like, yeah, just like hopefully it's this platform. Yeah, yeah, for right. sure, you know for sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. And this shit. year, this year I always tell people, hey man, forget that humble shit, man. If you know you fire, pop your shit. You know what I'm saying? Talk for your sure. shit. I'm for talking sure. my shit. I, I know nobody playing with me when it comes to these sounds in sure. in the city. And you know, I always tell people, just do what you do. You know, support support each other. Mm-hmm. You know, just know you're the you're the shit. Yeah. You're the sh- you are the shit. One last question. What's up? What's up? What's up? Talk to me. Talk to me. African girl, huh? American girl. Huh? Ah, <laughs> African girl, bro. You, you, you. Yeah, I knew that ah. one was coming. African girl over American girl. African girl or American girl? Like dating wise, or just like we fucking, we fucking. Anything, bro. Shit, if we fucking, it don't matter. Learn your character's cool. You a cool motherfucker. I can hang out with. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to dating, I'm pretty open-minded, but I do love my African women. I love the African culture. You know, I love their cooking. So 9,010, unless you're, like, you're willing to learn like from another culture and say you want to come in my world and also learn how to cook my type of meals, you know what I'm saying? Because I like the burgers and the fries, but, you know, some goose and pan and yam. Or oh, some okra soup or jollof rice. Oh, or some uh, 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 cream cream. American food or some bitter leaf. You know, that would really come in handy from time to time. Sure. So, I mean, I like American girls, but, but you know, you got to be able to cook my shit. You, sure. gotta cook, you, you gotta be able to cook what I eat as well. Or oh, you at least willing to learn. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta, you get three months to at least make, learn how to make one dish. Yeah. Yeah. You get three, you get three months trial period to make one dish. 